Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're not aware, I'm going to the National Jamboree for Scouts. Should be exciting. But so right now I am packing, so I just thought I'd show you guys and I'll explain what scouting and the Jamboree is all about. So basically Scouts is like, you haven't heard of it already, it's like this global movement about like learning um, how to light fires, survival skills, rope skills, all that kind of outdoorsy stuff and I'm part of it. This year I'm lucky enough to be chosen to go to the National Jamboree which is like this big 11 day camp where like scouts from all over your country come together in this one area or like campsite. So this is my first time going and I'm excited if I haven't said that already. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight into what Scouts and Jamboree is all about. Let me show you guys what I'm packing. So this is the personal gearbox that we've been given. This has to fit everything that we're bringing that's on that list. So let me just open it. Okay, so if you have a look inside, yeah, that's it. That's the only space that we're given. I mean, it should be enough, but we'll see. Actual first item on the list is one pair of long trousers. So I just got this like pair of like navy blue track pants. And then next we got, it says three pairs of shorts we have to bring. So I just brought these like gray casual shorts with like, I don't know, ferns or something. <laughs> And then neon green, and then we got this like gray and black gradient pants. So, yeah. On the list, it says bring one t shirt, but you can't go wrong with um, too many t shirts. So I just brought two casual t shirts and my scout shirt. Next, so we got two jerseys. So this one is from Katmandu, it's like this blue woolen fleece kind of. And then the other one is this hoodie, also from Kathmandu. And they said, bring four socks. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Just got some basic colors. So next on the list, it says bring three underclothes. So I just decided to bring some thermals. Luckily, in my wardrobe, I got two, three pairs of like matching. So I like, got this pair of grays. This pair of blue and then these like multicolored thermals. Next are the shoes. This is this is probably one of the most confusing ones. They wanna they want us to bring heaps, so they said bring two pair two pairs of shoes. One, two, not gum boots, alright? And then they said bring one aqua shoe. So you think we're sorted. No, they said bring tramping boots. I don't know if I'll bring tramping boots. I might just bring these. Because they're pretty sturdy as well. So next we have swimming tops. The last bit for clothes and footwear is old throwaway t-shirt shorts. I haven't decided if I am gonna bring these shorts, but we'll see. Onto the day pack stuff. I'll be bringing this day pack. It's got a small pocket in the front. And then inside, yeah, inside I believe there is a like this back pocket for your laptop if you see if you've seen those before. I most likely will not be bringing a laptop to the National Scouts Jamboree. Even though my laptop's just over there in the corner, I will not be bringing it. The thing we're bringing is a camera to take photos. They advised us not to bring our phones, so. I'll try to vlog there, I'm not too sure. I'll probably just um, come out with like recap of Jamboree or like a review of it, and then just spam heaps of photos in that video. But here it is, it's a Canon. I'm not too sure what model it is. We've had it for quite some time, but I don't know what model it is. I haven't actually used it once, so I should learn how to use it before we leave. And then just a water bottle. That's it, after the water bottle, it just says bring a pack lunch because we'll be traveling over to um, the campsite, which is like a couple hours drive. Yeah, I'll probably pack that the night before or the morning we leave. Over here by my desk is what I will be wearing going there. So we have to wear our formal gray shirts. Uh, it'll be this, and then we have our scarf, and then I have just an assortment of woggles to choose from. 
I'll probably only bring these two, to be honest. And then I'll be wearing trousers of some sort. Thanks so much guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some vlog content or some photos from the National Scouts Jamboree, just let me know. I'll, like I said, be making a recap slash review video where I'll probably, in the start or in the end, just spam all the photos from my um, Canon, I don't know what model camera. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that I might actually include more content after this outro because I'll most likely be decorating this personal orange and black box because literally everyone in my region has the same box as this because what's happening is we're gonna be taking our boxes there I think this weekend to this hall and then they're gonna put them in a container and then ship them out to the campsite for the National Jamboree and then we won't be seeing them for quite some time because Jamboree is I think two to three days after Christmas yeah we won't be seeing them for a while and to make it easier to identify my box I might you know put a subscribe button maybe on the side and put a guitar on it so yeah just a little message I might put like little decorating segment after this outro okay guys so right now we're picking out some paints to design the national jamboree luggage box case so we're looking at red and white for like youtube designs and i just found two of the best colors ever look at this they literally have vibe right here which is which is i'm really feeling the vibe of these paints Look, they also have Flashpoint, Flash Reference right there, Alternate Reality, where Barry's parents didn't die, so, little easter egg. I think I might get an uh, eighth rice cake for the white color, and I'll probably get jalapeno for the red color. So I'll see you when I'm back home painting. Cookie, our friend's dog, look at him, he's so cute. Oh, cookie, cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie. You want the handle? Ready? Three, that's 1v1. Wide base of support, look at that. Closed palm grip, closed pull grip in his case. Look at him, he is paying attention. All of the basics in the Hamble 101 video. Hamble legend, eh, Cookie? Hey! Are you on the couch, Cookie? Where are you on the couch, huh? Okay. That was fun, eh? But I should get to painting my personal jamboree box. So, it was fun, but... Goodbye, Hamble legend, Cookie. Say bye, guys. Say bye, Cookie. Ah! <laughs> bye, Cookie. He's ready to leave. Hey, guys. We're back from our little shopping trip. We got both the paints. We weren't actually able to get um, jalapeno. They didn't have that unless you paid, like, three times as much as you would if they already had the color ready. So, I did end up going with eighth rice cake, as I said, but for the red color... I went with bright red, which they had. They had bright red, hot chili, and a different one, but this was probably the closest match to jalapeno. But they didn't have vibe or flashpoint, so. So I'm about to paint my National Jamboree personal box luggage case thing, whatever. I'll probably do a time lapse or something. Okay, I'll try to do a mini haul, so yeah. So these are the two colors I went with, just to recap. Bright red, will it focus? and eighth rice cake so those are the two colors and after we went to buy paint we went to like i said a family friend's house and there was a dog there named cookie 
pretty cute. It's a fun time. So basically what I did was for the top, I put guitar, gab, and then on the side, it says is. I actually changed that up and make the guitarist font a little smaller. So it'll all be on the main body because when I searched up guitar gab on YouTube, it showed up with different stuff, not my channel. So I might accidentally have been promoting a different person's channel. So I'm probably going to change that. And then at the front side, there's a big masking tape box that says subscribe. I put a subscribe outline symbol on it. And then on the back side of the box, I put YouTube there. Capital Y, U, capital T, Tube. Pretty self-explanatory. And then on the left side of the box, I put, I tried to do the YouTube symbol. It kind of looks like a play button, but I think it brings about the idea that it's the YouTube symbol. So I'll start painting now. <laughs> Hey guys, so before we start painting, I just wanted to show you what paintbrush I'll be using. Um, I have no idea what model, brand, or whatever it is, but uh, it's got like this midnight gradient white fade thing. I'm not too sure. I have no idea what the brand is or anything, but uh, like some measurements are on it. So it says 38 millimeters, it's stainless, and it's got a blue handle. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I just wanted to let you know about that before I started and did a little outfit change up put on my uh, Nike sneakers just put on this orange shirt and gradient pants so yeah just sit back relax and oh, anyway um, just enjoy um, th there's like sand flies everywhere so just sit back enjoy me painting my personal jamboree box thing Okay guys, quick update. So before we get started, I just got this like small Nutella jar and filled it up with water so I could wash out my paintbrush after I used each color. So that should be useful. Nutella, if you want to sponsor me, sure, go ahead. I'm not stopping you, so. Anyway, this is probably our only brush at the moment. We might end up getting some small brushes I'm not too sure but this is what we have so far so yeah it might be a little hard but I'll try my best and so the moment you've been waiting for I should probably stop talking and just get to painting so Hey guys, the day is over, it's currently like 10 o'clock or something at night, I'm tired, I just finished editing most of the video, I'm just filming this outro and then I should be done, and then the video will be YouTube ready. So just to clarify, when I was painting, at first I wasn't purposely going off the tape marks. But then after a while, I did purposely go off the tape marks because I realized if somebody pulled off the tape marks, then my designs wouldn't be there. So I was like, let's 
unintentionally put paint marks outside of the tape marks, if that makes sense. Anyway, this video has turned out pretty good, in my opinion. Anyway, I hope you are really enjoying these vlog style videos. I'm really enjoying them, for sure. But tomorrow, or whenever I post this, on Monday, we'll be starting the Hamble Stereotypes filming. It's like every single video, I am bringing up the Hamble Stereotypes. But it's like a really hyped up video that I haven't told you about until I've made the announcements. But I'm going to call it hyped up. So, yeah, hyped up video is going to start filming on Monday, which will be exciting. Hopefully, I'll put it out onto YouTube as soon as I can. I am still debating whether or not I should make it one video, one per week, or both in the same week but separate videos. Tell me in the comments below, I still need to decide. It should be fun film. Yes, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far into the video, comment stereotypes in the comment section below. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.